Okay, so we made it around here to the utility part of the house, I guess you'd call it. Um, you can tell it's about a six foot area here. It drops down in there where the frame's at, so it's probably more like uh, five foot where the frame's at and on up to maybe six. So it's not a huge area, but it's a good spot for the utility and the furnace and all that. It keeps it out of the house and down here where it's and not going to freeze and things like that. So anyway, we'll make a pass through there and see what's what all's in there. A lot of a lot of junks left. So. pressure tank back over there there's an old empty file cabinet right there another old that's the old furnace back in there and some shelves so they moved the water heater down here and then this geo geologics the geothermal furnace supposed to be really efficient it was put in in 2019 and then the water softeners back in there let's take a look over here right quick just a lot of a lot of stuff left I don't know that there's anything worth having but dusted on light just odds and ends probably all dumpster worthy stuff is probably what it all is no idea what that is lot of cleanup to do it does have a concrete floor but it leaks over here we'll have to do some digging and I noticed this has wood under it they set that on wood and it's starting to rot so I'm gonna have to get that off the ground and get it on some concrete blocks they've got a good plastic stand under the furnace wiggle on through here um, big tarp A lot of cobwebs. There's the second pressure tank. And the water leaks right over here, comes under the, comes in right there. So this is a project, we'll have to dig the, up under the front porch up there and um, I don't imagine there's a seepage line or anything in, but we'll get that taken care of. Looks like it might be a little damp way up there as well, so might just dig down the whole side of the house and dry this up. Now this drain is smashed, and it comes through that hole along with the electric and a water line. So. Um, that's going to have to be dug up and replaced as well. It's smashed down. Looks like it's down to the four inch PVC that's probably down to maybe three inches there. So just something else has to be done. It's working at the moment, but it won't be for long. So this place has two pressure tanks. A bench through here or a shelf I guess it's not really much of a workbench you don't have room to work so I don't know there's some old roller blades back there with the steel runner not roller blades skating ice ice skates this is a what is that it's an old level huh That's the old furnace. Bubbles in there. There'll be, there's the other bubble. It's in there too. Pressure tank. A lot of junk needs hauled out of here. 
probably need to take the shelving out too. It's all rotten on the bottom, so just some more projects to do. All the truck load of junk off. So a lot of cleanup to do. A lot of cleanup. So this is kind of an interesting thing. Back over there. It's an old bubble level. in there. Yeah. There it is in this one too. Huh. That's kind of cool. I'm going to turn this light off. It's got the fancy switch on it. That'll be another thing to do down here. All these wires need cleaned up and sorted out. They're just stuff running everywhere and hanging everywhere. I have to figure out what it all is and get it straightened up and looking like something. Just get everything out of here that doesn't need to be. Anyway, so there's the utility room. Close this up. About an inch off a level right there. I think that screws an adjustment though. You can see the glass is at an angle. This one has an adjustment there too. I think that's what that is. Let's see what it is like this. That one's right on the money. It's it's perfect this way. This one, I think, I think that's an adjustment screw. Have to give it a try compared to this one. That might still make a decent old level. Clean it up. Yeah. I'm going to show you how much difference it was here. Where do I need to look? Right, right down there. See, that's how much it is. It's about a 30 inch. So it's. That's how much it is off over 30 inches. But I think. I think this is an adjustment. Interesting. Yep. Need a work tool. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, make it look like something. Be mm -hmm. kind of neat. Uh huh. It's a hat. Had to get a screwdriver. I gotta see. Just gotta see. Just gotta. with something might be goes. 
So, level right there. Should be level. Can you see that bubble? I can't see that one. It's moving it. See now that's it's loose then isn't it? Yeah, it needs probably need to take this all out and clean it up and if it would stay down there it would be that's level right there. When I let my finger off of it it comes up a little. I'll have to look at it a little more one of these days. Does it have a crack right there? No, what is that? No, that's, that's where I scrape. Okay. Run scrape that it. scraper across there and gouge my finger. Okay. Press right there. Cool. So a day or two ago was down here and took you on a walkthrough of the basement uh, after we did the walkthrough of the upstairs. Um, it's kind of dark in there and hard to see. Today I'm back. I'm going to put some lights in there. I bought some just some temporary string lights to uh, string up through there for now. I think there's five lights there on 50 foot of cord wasn't all that expensive but it'll be a good way to get in there and be able to clean it up and see what's going on and then maybe here in the near future do some something better about lighting a little more permanent uh, we're going to try to add a wall in there and, and block off the crawl space part of the basement too so we'll be doing quite a few upgrades in there i'm going to go in now and try to get these lights put up and uh, we might do a quick look around once it's lit up again uh, but for now, I'm going to go in and set these up. Not too crazy about this. It's a pretty good size. I don't know, maybe a four inch leg span from point to point. There's a few of them around. There's another one just up above him, right up there. I don't really like sharing my space with them. 
I don't have a choice at the moment. Well, it doesn't look all that much better lit up. It might be worse. I see more cobwebs and spiders and junk. So, anyway, a lot of cleanup. On the first of the video when we was doing the walkthrough before it was lit up in here, you could hear something hissing. This valve this little solenoid valve that lets water run through the loop on the geothermal uh, was stuck open and I had to have a new one installed it took a few days to get it but I should have mentioned that earlier and that because that thing was hissing all the way through the video but that's what it was and we have that repaired now a local company come out and fixed us up and did a good job so uh, we'll call them again in the future if we ever need anything. Anyway, uh, got a little light in here now. Uh, next thing will be to just get back in here and start dragging stuff out and get this mess cleaned up. Probably put a wall back in there where that old furnace is setting somewhere through there and just the other side of the pressure tank there and block this end of the house off from the crawl space and it'll be a little easier to deal with through the winter keep it a little warmer in here and so they had had electric heaters in here before and I don't think we'll have to if we do that so anyway uh, there it is and hopefully before too long we'll get in here and give this place a good cleaning and maybe start on that wall get the ceiling a little better where it's falling down and just clean this mess up and see what we have and where to go from there i know a lot of the plumbing's going to have to be replaced on it i've seen duct tape holding some of the joints together back in there so uh, and it's just a whole mess of wires and stuff hanging everywhere that they've just kind of halfway cobbled things in here so first step get the junk out and clean it up uh, get a decent place to work uh, maybe have a bug guy come and get the bugs out um, so I don't have to deal with them either I'm not crazy about spiders crawling on me so anyway uh, hope you hang around again for some more videos we've got a clean up uh, yard had been left for uh, since last year so it was overgrown and there's a lot of clean up in that Lisa and I Lisa mowed and I picked up brush and cut some brush and weed eat it and got it looking a lot better. Today she's going over it for the second go around with the lawnmower just to try to knock down some of the overgrowth that had piled up. So uh, come along with us if you would and uh, subscribe so you can get notified and follow along and give us a like if uh, you're interested in this and want to continue seeing these videos. Uh, and so. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.